Right. He didn't show up. He gave them the code, obviously. So I went through with them. And I knew he was going to do that. I was so, taking them through. Well, they, it's the day before closing. And but legally, they, they have to get a walkthrough. So isn't it better that I just put them, went through with them? No. They're not your clients. If they're your clients, I agree. Yeah, you take them through. But that's... that's you're, so then it's almost like you're... You just said it a couple minutes ago where I feel like I'm kind of, oh, representing both now. Oh, the garbage is left. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. So now you're going back to the fourth. That shouldn't be happening. I, I would just flat out say, sorry, you're not getting in. Sorry. If you're not here, you're not coming in the house. Well, then the deal doesn't have to close. And is that in the best benefit of my seller? Can't say that, that. the deal doesn't... Can't say that. Well, when I had How a... How can you say that? Because when I had a personal deal about to close, um, the lawyer asked me, did you do a final walkthrough? And I said, well, no, we couldn't. The agent took the keys back to Newmarket. She was from Newmarket. She takes the keys away. I can't even go in. Well, you don't need to close the deal then. And I said, well, what do you mean? Well, legally, even if it's not in the agreement of purchase and sale, you have to get a walkthrough. You have to. But they're not being done though. No one doesn't. They're in the agreement of purchase and sale, have two walkthroughs. They do one walkthrough a month later and two days before closing. I never see it. I